Hello Literature Lovers, today as you can see I am discussing Kurt Koffer, he was German psychiatrist, psychologist, sorry, and was born and educated in Berlin along with Max Wehmer and his close associates Wolf Gangola. They established the famous Gestalt Theory Psychology and Kafka's interests were wide ranging and they included perception, hearing impairments uh, in brain damage patients, interpretation, learning and extension of Gestalt theory to developmental psychology. Born in March 1886 in Berlin, died 22nd November 1941 in Massachusetts. The longer 20th century philosophy, region is Western philosophy, school of thought were Gestalt psychology, Berlin School of Experimental Psychology, and psychology was the main interest. Influences Karl Stumpf and influenced by Lev Vygotsky and Kurt Levins, as well as Maurice Ponty. Starting with the person life, born in on 18th March 1886 in Berlin, his father Emil was a lawyer and his younger brother became a judge. His mother was of Jewish descent but listed herself as Protestant. In 1909, he married Mira who had been an experimental subject in his research. So she, he used his wife for research purpose. That's funny. In 1923, they were divorced and he married Elizabeth who had recently finished her PhD. Three years later, in 1926, they divorced and then he remarried Mira. But in 1928, they were divorced for the second time and he remarried Elizabeth. Psychology is something that really smashed your head. Kurt and Elizabeth remained married until his death and he had no children, no doubt. Now talking about his academic career, early in Kafka's life, his biologist uncle arouses his interest in the fields of psychology, philosophy sorry, and science. He learned how to speak English from an English governess and from 1892 to 1903 he was educated at Wilhelm's gymnasium considered one of the best schools in the city and he spent the year 1903 and 4 in the University of Edinburgh it's a very famous university Scotland where he developed a strong fluency in English 1905 to 1907 Kofas was enrolled in Humboldt University, Berlin as a psychology student and earned his PhD there in 1909 as a student of Karl Stumpf. His thesis was entitled Experimental, uh, Experimental Investigations of Rhythm 1909. Kafka is still in English later served him well in his efforts to spread Gestalt psychology beyond German borders, borders and familiarizing himself with British psychology and Kafka was already working at University of Frankfurt when Max Weber arrived in 1910 and invited Kafka to participate as a subject in his research on Phil Phenomenon. In 1911, Koffer moved to the University of Gießen and in 1914 became Privat Dozet. During the First World War, he worked for the military in the position that later led him to a professorship and to become and to becoming part of the Berlin School of Experiment Psychology in 1924. Kaufa traveled to the United States where he was a visiting professor at Cornell University 
from 1924-25 and two years later at the University of Wisconsin Madison. In 27, he accepted a position at Smith College, Northampton, Massachusetts, which he remained until his death in 1941 from coronary thrombosis. In 1932, he made an expedition to Uzbekistan, which he was ill with, which he was ill with what was eventually diagnosed as relapsing fever. He spent the year 1939-40 visiting Sir Hugh Carnes at Nuffield University, Oxford, contribution to psychology in early 20th century, Koffer worked with Wolfgang and Max as a representative of the Gestalt movement. He helped establish the theories that gave rise to a school of Gestalt psychology. He is known today as the chief spokesperson of Gestalt psychology. In 1913, he began editing a series published in the name of Contributions to the Psychology of Gestalt. American psychiatrists were exposed to Gestalt psychology. In 1922, in his article entitled Perception and Introduction to Gestalt Theory, which appeared in the Psychological Bulletin. One of the Koffer's major contributions was the growth of the mind. In 1921, Koffer invited to provide some sort of evidence supporting Gestalt psychology to the field of development psychology. This book was later translated into English in 1928. Fourteen years later, in 1925, he wrote Principles of Gestalt Psychology. This book helped members of Gestalt group and their students bring their Gestalt point of views together. It is almost most notable for the topics such as perception, learning, and memory. Kaufa believed that most of early learning is what he referred to as. Sensory motor learning, which is a type of learning which occurs after a consequence. For example, a child who touches a hot stove will learn not to touch it again. Kaff also believed that a lot of learning occurs by imitation, though I argued that that is not an important to understand how imitation works, but rather to acknowledge that it is a natural occurrence. According to Kaff, the highest type of learning is idea Shnal learning which makes use of language Kaffa notes that an important time in children's development is when they understand that objects have names the Kurt Kaffa Award honors scientists who have made extraordinary advances to the field of perception or developmental psychology. Recent winners of awards awards include Andrea von Dur and Jan Konderink, who have made a large number of discoveries in areas like optics, low shape and material perception these are some of the, his works written english translations is growth of the mind 1924 perception introduction to gastro theory 2022 growth of mind 1924 principles of get stalled theory psychology 1935 That's all for today. I hope you will like it. Thanks.